we 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 go we go like you know you do that again nah. I, I I ain't gonna forget you you know what I'm saying you do that again you know me and you we through amen yeah. and we we we're limited and selective about our mercy come on and we we scared with our mercy we feel like amen that 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 you know if we keep on doing it they yeah, if we keep on forgiving them they're gonna keep taking advantage of it but how many how many know that you can overcome evil with good come on. Yes. You get you, yes. you if you get in the same boat they get in you ain't you ain't want nothing amen you just stir it up a fire that's all but if you do something different than what they've done you love them when they hating on you you giving to them when they being stingy you amen you speaking good when they speaking bad amen you overcoming evil with good and you have to do that under the auspices of mercy uh, those who uh, give mercy and also going to receive mercy. Amen. You give a little mercy, you're going to receive a little mercy. Yes. I know how bad I need mercy. That's why I go ahead and give it away on mail, on clearance. You can have some mercy around me. You can have your clearance on Walmart special. You can have, you can have some mercy up on me. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about I'll give you that mercy. Come on. Amen. You keep doing the same thing over and over again. I can still give you some mercy. Amen. 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 But watch out now. Watch out. Okay. Watch out because you're not dealing with me now. You're dealing with God. Come on. I, I, I got out of the way. Now, that's why I go ahead and get out of the way and go ahead and let God be God. Amen. So he won't have to spank me and you at the same time. Come on. Be careful how you treat his people yeah. when you when they're being kind to you, they're being nice to you. Yeah. They look like they're being a pushover, but they ain't being a pushover. Yeah. They just showing mercy. They are being forgiven, yeah. but don't think that they are a pushover because now you're not pushing with them because you're not messing with them. You're messing with their God. Yeah. Amen. 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 I, I go instantly into prayer for those who who be trying to mess around with me because you know what? I go and pray for. I pray for them. Amen. 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 Because I know my God. Amen. And I've wow. seen people, amen, die out of the, and this is not, nothing special about me other than the fact that the God factor is in me, yeah. and I've got the living hope in me, and if you got the God factor in you, the living hope in you, the same thing has been happening wow. on your behalf. I've seen people literally die. Seven people died in my case who came and falsely witnessed against me in a courtroom. Wow. wow. Seven people. Part of them was on the prosecutor's side. Some of them was false witnesses getting up there, didn't even know me. And they were just they were singing like a bird because the prosecutors told them to sing like a bird. And they end up paying somebody in their family passed, they passed, or somebody died, seven of them, and I'm not a hitman. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't even hire a hitman. <laughs> but the Holy Ghost was it, man. Come on. And when the Holy Ghost sucked that life out of you, amen, you've been hit. Yes, man. Come on, Ananias and Sapphira coming up there lying to the Holy Ghost, falling dead, having a funeral on the same day, amen. Come on. They had a two for one funeral, amen, <laughs> on the call. <laughs> because they were playing with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Come on. Yes. How many of you just get so deep in the Holy Ghost, amen, you. You, you decrease while he's increasing. You're not trying to get your rights. You're not trying to get somebody to respect you. It ain't about you. You dead, amen. Christ is living. And that living hope is coming alive. It's coming alive. Because it's a living hope. It's not a dead hope. That's right. Yeah. Living hope. And so, so, so it, it was, I can see why I said, blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy, mm -hmm. a lot of that mercy, abundant yes. mercy, yes. has begotten us again. Say begotten us, us. Again. 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 That just means say born again. Born. Yes. Say born again. Born again. Born again. So we've been born again. He begotten us again is just basically saying he's been born again. Who has caused us to be born again to a living hope. Yeah, mm, we came out of death already, but now we're coming to a living hope. We came from a dying hope to a living hope. Thank you, God. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ yes. from yes. the dead. Amen. You know, there's, there's a lot going on in this world. And there's, there's a false hope, just like there was a false reality when it has something to do with focus, you know, fear. False realities, and you got a true reality. You got a living hope, you got a dying hope. Yes. But that, that hope is a false hope. <coughs> yeah. Amen. They're, they will tell you that we'll pay you real good, but you gotta leave you Jesus. Mm -hmm. They will tell you that, you know, you don't need to be going against the grain in society. Mm -hmm. 
Because if you go against the grain and, and not do what everybody else is doing, ahead, they're going to mock you. Go they're going yes. they gonna, to they gonna persecute you. Uh -huh. If you don't, amen, fall into the Joneses, if you don't do it, wear what everybody else is wearing, you know, drive what everybody else is driving, and live in what everybody else is living in, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you, they give you this hope, you know, uh, but it's, it's a false hope because it's a temporary hope. Yes, wow. true. True. If we compare the world's hope to our hope, okay. our hope is not temporary. Nope. Their hope is 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 temporary. Now, mm. now mind you that you know there's some nice things in the world, and God wants us to have nice things, and God wants us to live good, and God wants us to drive good, and God wants us to yes. have finances. And if He can entrust us with these things, yes. He wants us to have the best. Amen. Yes. There's no better glory. There's no better uh, testimony than God's people. Amen. Having wealth and and, and increasing their lives, being able to pay their bills on yes. time. Praise yes. God. Yeah. Talking about telling about, you know, I'm believing Jesus to pay for this. No, Jesus, no. Jesus, 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 Jesus already paid it all. Amen. Now what you need to do is go to work, amen, and, 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 and pay the rent. Come on. Come on. Then you don't have to beg, you don't have to ask nobody to, 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 to you know, to, to, to beg for this or beg for that. Amen. God wants you to have increase amen. so you can be a testimony. You can be an attractive Christian yes. that the world, amen, want to know. Man, you got money and you got God. Amen. Come on, I want your God. Amen. See, we serve God and money should be serving us. Amen. Amen. We don't worship money. We worship amen. God. Money. Amen. Money is under our feet. Come on, Lord. And my God, if you can take the world's God and put it under your feet, if you can take the world's hope, amen, and walk on it, that's why the streets, I believe that's why the streets are paved with gold. God is saying something. He's mocking the word. He said, Man, I got pearly gates. Come on. Yeah, I got my Lord. streets paved with gold. Amen. Come on. That stuff y'all fighting and killing over and all that stuff. I got it. I'm walking Amen. on it every day. Amen. Amen. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. They right. and they that dwell therein. The yeah. silver and the gold is mine. Because yeah. I got all that stuff. Yeah. But what you don't got is a living hope. Amen. 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 They can have the biggest houses. The mansions, uh -huh. the cars, yeah. the money, yeah. but that's going to get transferred. How many know that? Yeah. The Bible says the wealth of the wicked is what? Laid yeah. up for the what? Praise Just. God. Thank you, Amen. It doesn't pay to be a sinner these days, but God's getting yeah. ready to shift some stuff. Woo. Amen. You can work all your life for God's getting ready to shift it over to the righteous believer. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Because we got to get out of here, Thank not you, go and discuss yeah. We got to get out of here glorious. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we got to get out of here glorious. Yeah. We got to be walking, talking, living, yeah. thinking glorious. Yeah. Because yeah. he's coming back yeah. on church that's with our spot and with our window. I want to send myself through the spiritual dry cleaners. Hey, glory be to God. Amen. I'm going to get out with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to get the wrinkles out. Yeah. Amen. And all them stains that have been on my life, I'm going to get washed. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's why we got to be driving yes. in the best car and all that because he's coming Praise back for that. God. But mostly we got to understand that it's eternal. It's in. Lord, it's inside. It's, it's about how you love. Yes. It's about yes. how you believe. Yes. It's about how you think. It's about. Yes. It's that. It's that. It's that kind of thing that's eternal. Yes. Yes. Your faith is eternal. Yes. Yes. Come on, how you treat other people is eternal. Yes. yes. How you how you how you talk is eternal. Yes. Amen. Those are the stuff that Amen. God is going to be counting up there. That's going to pass through the fire. Oh, yes. The other stuff going to burn. Amen. Yes. You may be saved, but Amen. The works that are amen. not done under the Holy Ghost that's eternal yes. will burn. Yes. If it hasn't been done with a good motive, it'll burn. Yes. If it has not been done with a good heart, it'll burn. Yes. But you yourself will be yes. saved yes. because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. I, I want more than just, amen, be saved. Amen. amen. Yes. amen. amen. Lord, I ain't going to be broke, busted, disgusted down here and get up there broke, busted, yes. disgusted. No, no, no. no. Oh, He's going to prepare a place yes. for me. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 I'm going to be there also. Yes. It's going to yes. be a mansion. Yes. Yes. Yep. Amen. Mm, somebody say, somebody in the Bible said I'd rather be the doorkeeper in, in the house of the Lord. I don't even want to be a doorkeeper. Amen. I'm going I'm to hire me some doorkeepers. Praise God. Amen. Right up there. Amen. The yes. sacrifices that are made here. Yes. 
will show up there. Yeah. That's right. You ain't going to get everything right here. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on here as the scripture as Peter is talking about. Remember, he's talking about a discouraged, beat down, persecuted church, yeah. scattered, dispersed. They're pyramids. They're not even feeling a part of society. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. They seem second class. They feel second class. They don't feel like they're a part of anything good. They know they believe in Jesus, and Jesus was on top of the game, healing the sick and all of that. But he's gone now. It's 30 years later. The children now come up now. They heard that Jesus was good. They heard that he resurrected from the dead. They heard he was somebody great. But amen. Now they are under another, another power and another authority, and the children still amen. doubt right now. Amen. 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 I'm believing God, amen, before my children get of age, that they're going to see something they've never seen yes. before oh, yes. in this church, praise God. They're going to know that the power of God, amen, Hallelujah. is a blessing to serve God. It's a Hallelujah. blessing to be faithful to the Lord. Yes. It's a blessing. They're going to know that being a part of the church is something good. Yes. They know that yes. now, but they will know and see yes. that then. Yes. Oh, yes. I believe yes. God before they, they get of age. They won't go out of church talking about I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Amen. That's why a lot of PK kids, amen, go fall by the wayside because they had this thumb on them all through the church. And they seen church people, amen, act like they love their parents, but they really don't love their parents. And what happened is they resented church people and they decided they're not going to be a part of church. Why? Because they had all these requirements right. placed upon right. them, but they didn't see no righteousness or they didn't see nobody in church prospering. Amen. But not, not in this church, praise God. They're going to see you prospering. Right. They're going to see us prospering. Right. They're going to see the love of God. They have seen the love of God. They know God is in this place, praise God. They've seen the supernatural, and they will. Let, they, when they leave the house, they're going to be looking for them in church to be a part of it. What I was going to it's going to be like my daddy and mama's church. It's going to be something I'm like, I know the spirit got to be in the place. I, I know the word got to be taught. I know real Christians got to be in there. They got to do real work, amen. Not just have church. They be the church, praise God. That's the kind of stuff that, that we want our children, all of our children, to grow up and think that my mom and dad was part of something big. Even though it was a small church, we saw some big stuff happening. Amen. We saw some real Christians up in there. We didn't see them gossiping on the side about Amen. somebody else. Come on. We saw, we saw them uh, being real and embracing them when somebody was down and they needed some food. They got in their pocket and brought some money out. Amen. And took care of the family. Amen. You know, yesterday I spent some time with the family. That same family came. They needed some food. And... And we were going, we were going, we were going to get some food for them from the food pantry, but but that didn't happen. So 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 uh, one of uh, Yvonne decides she's going to give them forty dollars. Now watch this. They they I need to go get that refrigerator that's in there that's been donated to us for free. That donated, and I didn't have a truck, and I didn't have a heavy any help. And I told them I said, well, we got a member of our church that that uh, provided forty dollars for me to get some food. And uh, we're going to match it, too, with another $40 so you can have $80 and that kind of thing. He said, wow, man, praise God. He said, that's what you, you said you need to go get a refrigerator. I said, he said, I got a truck and I got oh, a refrigerator hallelujah. truck, you know, to man, carry it. Man. And I got my son to help us out. Hallelujah. And we went all the way to Alpharetta, amen, in the truck. He said, I just need a little gas money. I said, I can get you some gas money. And we, and, and we, did, and we went all the way over there to Alpharetta. They, I didn't barely touch the refrigerator. They took care of that thing, took that thing up in there, brought this thing, laid it off in there. He's a, he's a he licensed, well, he's going to become a licensed air conditioned and, and uh, he didn't kind of, he knows how to do all that kind of stuff. Amen. Guess what? If your air condition go down, amen, we got somebody that, amen, that, that, that can help out with that. He's willing to do that kind of thing amen. because he appreciates on, the realness of the church. He was in prison, amen, came out. I ain't never seen somebody go through so much, amen. He came out, his son had an accident, became this uh, sort of what, uh, he wanted to be a police officer and he became a little, amen, uh, disabled, he's undisabled, but he can still lift some stuff and do things like that. Right. And he was, uh, he, you know, his wife, and they got sick, she's like 95 pounds, and uh, just all kinds of stuff going on, and uh, they were about to lose their house. Their, you know, there were just so many things going on with their family, just one thing after another. Amen. And he called us. He had been coming out of prison, got out of prison, got, and, and, and he called me over, and we went over there. Amen. And, and I'm going to tell you, man, we fed him last week. We're going to feed him 
This week they they good, amen, this week. And we're believing God. Now he's got a job opportunity. Come on, give God some praise. Yeah. 